everybody, I'm Adam Harry with... JR. We're from Belva Souls, and today... We've got some Blood Bowl goodies. The Lizardmen are in the house. And we have got their uh, Blood Bowl team, their new ba fancy ba 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 sunny ba ba. pitch, and of course, the custom dice, because dice. it wouldn't be a Games Workshop release if there weren't dice. That's right. So let's uh, go ahead and crack these open and take a look at each one. Real quick, here are the dice that you get in the set. You get your, uh, your, your push die, uh, all that fun stuff. You get your 2d6 there that you need for playing. Uh, you get a d8 and the d16. And that's... Pretty much it. That's all the dice you're going to need in the game. Yep. Maybe get two sets for extras? I don't know. But they're actually really pretty. They are. They yeah. are a, a lovely kind of lizard man skin blue. So yeah. if you want to if you wanna rep your Croxigores while you're uh, stomping around on the Blood Bowl yeah. pitch, this is the way to go. Next up, we have the custom lizard men pitch, as you can see here. Ooh. This is a double-sided board. It's got your uh, play areas, your, your, your actual... Blood Bowl pitches, mm -hmm. two of those are double sided, obviously. Dormant and Awaken. Yep, and then you've got the two uh, dugouts as well. So let's All go right, ahead and pop this look. open. Uh, and dig into the Lustrian Temple. Yep. Right. Here we go. There's a bit of foam. A bit of foam to keep everything in place. Whoa. There we go. Ooh. All right. Um, we're going to pause real fast and actually get into this plastic next. Here is the uh, dormant side of the board. And as you can see, this thing is massive. Yeah. Uh, this is a full size. Blood Bowl board, obviously. <laughs> and you can see all the squares that are marked out on there. That's a beautiful design. I it really like it. It is a beautiful design. Let's flip it over so you can see the awakened side of the Lustrian Ooh. Temple. There Again. we go. Uh, brilliant shining gold. And you can yeah. see uh, you can see that the box of endless snakes has been through here <laughs> uh, as there are still some snakes slithering around the pitch. Yeah. Very cool board. Obviously, very Lizardman motifs. Lots of stuff going on there. Next up, we have the two dugouts. You do get two of these, like we said. Uh, let me stack them like this so you can see. One, of course, is the Awakened and then the Dormant version. These are your, your dugouts, obviously, for your players and stuff like that. Keep score, keep track of your uh, turns and things like that. So, yeah. Cool. cool stuff. Let's take a look at the, mo the miniatures next. Finally, we have the Blood Bowl uh, Lizardman team. These are the Guacamole Crater Gators. And uh, you can see you get... A uh, mix of skinks and sauruses and uh, uh, a cool little uh, uh, counter. Re counter. Re I love that it's the slant. Yeah, yeah I, I, I do as well. It's yeah. like a little slant idol. Let's take a look. Yeah. And if memory serves, serves me correctly, uh, if they do what they've done in the past, you should get two of the exact same sprue. And I think we got some water slide transfers in there too. We do. Yep. So real quick, water slide transfer for your team. So yep. that's pretty much all the numbers you're going to need ever. Uh, we've got the instructions. It's actually got rules on the back too for your stats, so it's pretty easy to How put you these build together. everything. Yep. Uh, here you go. Basically, you've got, get it out of the way. You do, in fact, have two of the same sprue. Yep. Uh, you can see uh, the the fun little details, like yep. there's your little idol. There's... And let's just pick one sprue, and yeah, we'll zoom in, get a better look here. So there you have it. Um, I'm actually really liking the new Sora sculpts. Yeah, they're uh, pretty sweet. And I'm hoping that, you know, maybe we see some of these for the, uh, you know, the Seraphon you in know. the near future. Because they, they can clearly do some good stuff. Like, look at these uh, look at these skinks doing some jump kicks. Yeah, I really am liking this team's uh, new sculpts. Like, of all of the teams in there, people have been begging and begging for new Lizardman models. If you're playing uh, Age right. of Sigmar, they're Seraphon models. But whatever. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Uh, they're, if space they're, lizards, if they're man. Space lizards from outer space that are also ancient aliens, and the guys doing the you know the, the hair, haircut yeah, guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm not saying it's lizard man, but, but it's seraphon. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, these these guys look incredible. Uh, they're a ton yeah. of fun, and uh, they are a sight better than like the old. Uh, oh, way better. Uh, um, I I really want to see. I I hope. Fingers crossed, both both sets, JR, and we're all fingers in here, that uh, Games Workshop does make some new Seraphon Lizard yeah. based around these sculpts just because they are so fantastic. Like the tails on them, a are, lot of detail. Incredible. There's a lot of motion. There's a lot more yeah. like, like, I don't know, they're, they're more dynamic. Dynamic for yeah. sure. The scale works. This looks fantastic on all these models. The feathers, lots feathers. of detail. There's yeah. just no downsides. <laughs> to these models it's for sure. just the kind of models you want to take out onto the pitch so let's go do exactly that yep well that was all of the lizardman releases for blood bowl this week phew lots of cool stuff in there again three different products go check them out in your stores favorite local gaming store buy them online on gw's website whatever floats your boat uh yeah pretty cool stuff all the way around 
Well, in the meantime, I'm JR. I'm Adam Harry. We're both from Belvoir Souls. Thanks for watching. Click to subscribe. Check out more videos. And thanks for watching.